dang, watching 8K on my computer lets me use my GPU decoding all the way up to 80%. Man, this is pretty smooth. Stick around to watch the whole thing. Hey, what's up guys, back here with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to use your dedicated GPU for hardware acceleration in different softwares. So, let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do is press the Windows button or go to search and then uh, type in graphics settings right here. So once you're there, we will see many things. So let me explain what's going on. So first thing that we see here is hardware acceleration GPU scheduling, which we always want to turn on no matter what. After that, underneath we see graphics performance preferences, where we gotta choose if we want to use low power, let Windows do whatever it wants to do at a certain point of time, or you can choose yourself your GPU. So let's do that right now. So you can do this with any app. So let's just choose Microsoft Store app, which is gonna be a uh, well first party app from Microsoft. So let's go and select an app. And under here you can choose a lot of things so let's say I want to do calculator or let's do set a bench so I can add that by clicking on set a bench and then pressing add so I already added it and then you can scroll down and once you're there you can press options so on default it'll say let windows decide but obviously we want to use GPU acceleration so let's choose high performance from Nvidia GeForce and the 1660 Super that I have. So it's just that and press save. So that is how to use, well, high performance or GPU acceleration on your graphics card, which is pretty cool. Now let's say uh, one of your apps are not showing up in the select Microsoft Store apps. So first we wanna go to desktop apps and then right here we wanna add or press on browse. So right here you can go through all of your stuff and then click on whatever you want. Let's say I want to add DaVinci Resolve EXE file. We can press add and obviously I already added so you can go all the way down to DaVinci Resolve in this case then press options and obviously default is let Windows decide and we want to do hardware acceleration on the software so we can press high performance so you can use hardware acceleration or your GPU hardware acceleration for that software and press save. So that is how to use your GPU for hardware acceleration in different softwares, like in Chrome, where I'm watching 8K quotations, but I'm actually using almost 80% of my video decode, which is actually pretty good. And before it was using my CPU, which was not necessary, and I could just offload that, which I wanted to, to my GPU, which is pretty nice and makes everything much more smoother. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it. Hope you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.